Greetings world. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us. In Canada trade secrets are generally considered to include information set out, contained or embodied in, but not limited to, a formula, pattern, plan, compilation, computer program, method, technique, process, product, device or mechanism. It may be information of any sort, an idea of a scientific nature, or of a literary nature, as long as they grant an economical advantage to the business and improve its value. Trade secrets include any valuable business information that derives its value from the secrecy. Trade secrets can be very valuable to you whether you have developed new technology, designed original products, created the perfect recipe, or have a gold mine of customer data. One of the most famous trade secrets is the Coca-Cola formula, a well-guarded secret for over a hundred years. The business value of the formula is why the company goes to extremes to keep it confidential. Trade secrets are a type of intellectual property that gives firms their competitive edge in the market and it has to be kept as a secret. In Canada any information that a firm or its employees produces or acquires for the purpose of the firm's business can constitute confidential information that courts are willing to protect. Courts will even act to protect a comparatively underdeveloped idea from misappropriation. However information may stop being confidential and confident may be released from its obligations of confidence if the information subject to confidence is later publicly disclosed by the confider or a third party. In Canada there is no formal intellectual property process for protecting a trade secret, to protect and benefit from trade secrets. A business must obtain business value from the secret, keep the business information a secret, and take all possible measures to ensure that the business information remains a secret, with one exception in the field of employer-employee relations. There is no recognized distinction in Canada between the rights and remedies afforded to trade secrets as opposed to mere confidential information. In the field of employer-employee relationships which has been cited with approval by several Canadian courts, has drawn a distinction between the two. Under the Constitution Act 1867, the exclusive legislative authority of the Parliament of Canada extends to most areas of intellectual property such as patents, trademarks and copyrights, whereas the provincial government has exclusive authority to legislate on matters related to property and civil rights. The federal parliament also has exclusive jurisdiction to create offenses under its criminal law power. At one time the Federal Trademarks Act prohibited anyone from do any other act or adopting any other business practice contrary to honest industrial or commercial usage in Canada which was considered to include the taking of trade secrets. However, the Supreme Court of Canada ruled that the provisions encroached on the provinces. Authority over property and civil rights could not be upheld under the federal trade and commerce power. Therefore the regulation of trade secrets as a civil matter falls under provincial jurisdiction. Trade secrets can potentially last forever provided the information actually remains a secret. Once the secret is out, the business value is usually lost and the trade secret protection ends. Once your secret is out it is impossible to make it secret again. It would be in your best interest to use all methods possible to ensure your secrets stay secret. There are numerous ways to keep your valuable business information a secret such as non-disclosure or confidentiality agreements. So when disclosing your business information to anyone have them sign a non-disclosure agreement. Include confidentiality clauses in employment agreements. Encrypt any valuable business information. Use passwords to access valuable business information and lock up any valuable business information in a safe. 
The Uniform Trade Secrets Act adopted by the Uniform Law Conference of Canada in 1989 would provide civil remedies for the breach of trade secrets. To date the Uniform Act has not been enacted into law by any of the legislatures but the definition has been incorporated in the Federal Security of Information Act. In common law there are essentially five types of civil action that a trade secret holder can rely on to seek protection of its trade secrets before a court of justice. Breach of contract expressed or implied provision. Breach of confidence. Breach of fiduciary duty. Unjust enrichment and wrongful interference with the contractual relations of others. The Supreme Court of Canada held that the taking of confidential information cannot form the basis of a charge of theft under the criminal code, but it could in certain circumstances form one for fraud. While theft encompasses the taking or conversion of anything whether animate or inanimate, the court held that anything must still be property of some sort capable of being taken or converted in a way that deprives the owner of his proprietary interest in some way. Confidential information by its very nature cannot be converted, not because it is an intangible, but because of very exceptional far-fetched circumstances. The owner would never be deprived of it. Accordingly deprivation of confidential information falls within the definition of fraud where it is in the nature of a trade secret or copyrighted material that has commercial value. Parliament has since amended the Security of Information Act to provide that it is an offense to communicate a trade secret to another person, group or organization, or obtain, retain alter or destroy a trade secret for the benefit of a foreign economic entity, and to the detriment of Canada's economic interests, international relations or national defense or national security. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.